Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Let me inspire you about this fish breeding and actually what we're gonna show you today is the actual preparation of our mud pan for our koi fry. In our past videos, I mentioned to you that we refocus our vlogs and even our business on the growing out and the breeding of these imported lines of goldfish and Japanese koi. And we have a dream actually to uh, do some grow out challenge in the future and that's gonna be fun among the fish keepers and fish enthusiasts and even koi enthusiasts. And today I would like to tell you something on how we're gonna prepare our mud pan. Before going there, just allow me to let you see our fry that are already growing and they are already very visible and this fry actually is the fry of the Japanese koi. This is a surprise because I don't want to tell you about what kind of koi is this but this is a surprise that you're gonna wait a couple of months from now because this koi had been our favorite koi here. It's beautiful colors and we were able to breed this one and this time we we're thinking about importing good lines from of course direct from Japan. These are Japanese koi and come on let's go over there i reduced the water just last night this is the tank that we utilize for the catfish but i would like to transfer all the breeder catfish right here we're not breeding yet the catfish because we are running short of this uh, tank So we are halfway of our desire to get all the fish right here and our staffs are here they're actually been here last uh, last night and we're trying to get all the water you know Mowgli is here we have the full staff right here what we're gonna do is to prepare this tank actually for the fry of our Japanese koi because our intention is to produce massively of this uh, Japanese koi which has good quality you look at this the catfish are really thriving in the mud We expect to harvest more than a hundred of you know this catfish right here now. We momentarily use this one for our breeder catfish and you will see that they're already big. This time we will select some good breeders right here. I think one catfish will weigh around 500 grams. Two of them will weigh one kilo and uh, a little later we're gonna show you the actual transfer of this right there. Okay.
It's a tedious task actually and we have caught all this breeder catfish and for this day we're gonna clean this up we will remove all the the mud and we will make sure that there will be no fish that will be left here because we will throw here the fry of our beautiful Japanese koi and this is actually the best grow out tank that I ever had experience and maybe you can empathize what I'm telling you about that the mud pan is really best for grow out of our tropical fish in fact you can see right here the update of our Japanese koi can be passed right here We have placed in here some 5,000 Japanese koi fry and they're already big. You will see that they are really eating the floater and this is one of the best. So this has been my experience since I started this farm and we just refocus a little bit on the production of this fish and in the future maybe four or five months from now we're gonna be able to ship anywhere our fish because these are massive and these are big pans that we can grow much of this fish so I'm happy because uh, our talisai tree is already big and we have so many papayas right here and you will see that we are now going to harvest some there's a big papaya right there this is a giant papaya and I love eating these papayas I don't know if we can carry this one but I am sure that this is very delicious Wow see you see this one <laughs> Woohoo! Wow giant papaya <laughs> another giant papaya here <laughs> see that this is my joy really if you can reap some of the fruits of your labor this is uh, the most exciting thing. Wow. Mmm. See that? Ooh. Plenty. But I cannot carry them all. Maybe we can just uh, go back here and do some another harvest. But for the meantime, we'll just get these four big papayas. And the giant one is there. Wow. Ah, I don't know how to carry this one. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ooh, wow. This is my challenge. How to carry this papaya at one time. Wow. See, I can do this. I can do this. Yes. Oh. Ah, amazing. See, balancing talent. If you will plant seeds of papaya, you will harvest the fruits of this papaya. 
that's why I said that you cannot expect to harvest apples if you are you know planting cactus seeds so what I am pointing out is if you have that clear vision and you have the positive mindset you can really in the future harvest good fortune you have to harvest this uh, good you know relationship joy in your heart if you have good thoughts in your heart and in your mind so stop thinking about negative things instead thinking about what you can do for the best of your talent and your ability and don't discourage about our inability to perfect all the things that we do because uh, we're made not perfect what only we can do is to trust God and have, and have faith in Him because He is faithful and very merciful and loving God. So these are all the things that we can share with you so far. I hope you will continue to like and share and follow our videos. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every two days now. And shout out to the members of this channel, to the subscribers, and to those ones who made comments. Thanks a lot. See you in my next video, only here at Dexter's World!